Hi, everyone. This is Joe and Sean from Revival Brothers. How you doing, everyone? We're here to show you how to use the file manager system in IPA. First of all, you're going to receive an email once you purchase IPA, and that email will look something like this. Once you have this email, you're going to want to look for that serial number and copy that serial number, write it down, make sure that you have it archived somewhere so that if anything happens in the future, you can get back into IPA. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and launch IPA. So you should already have downloaded and executable from our website at this point. Well, well one more thing, uh, um, go back uh, to the, um, the email. Um, uh, we want to mention that uh, when you do receive the email that you're going to have uh, three different uh, videos to watch before you want to wa launch IPA. They're instructional videos. So definitely want to watch those. It uh, basically instructs you how to set up the IPA before you actually launch it. Yeah, that's pretty important because this application has a lot of macros in it and you have to set Excel a certain way for it to work properly. Um, I'm launching IPA right now, and when you do, you're going to see a window like this. And this window is basically asking you to um, go ahead and install IPA. It's verifying that the publisher is Revival Brothers. Um, so you go ahead and say yes. And then another window will come up and give you a license agreement. Go ahead and continue. And that will bring up your licensing window. And that's where the license number from the email that we talked about earlier comes in handy. So you're going to want to copy that or type that into this window and then type your name, company if you have one, um, and then go ahead and activate now. And once you do that, it's going to search for the server uh, and look for the activation number and it'll come back with either a successful uh, activation or non-successful. In this case, it was successful. You click OK and then it launches into the file window or the file management system for IPA. And this is what it looks like. So from the IPA file manager, you can create folders in here. You can create files in here. This is where you manage all of your content for IPA. So what I would suggest first off is to organize your folders. So the way that you would do that is you would go into the folders down here under folder management, click on that, select folder one, for example, we can rename it. We can call it projects dash. We'll, we'll name them by state. Um, and we'll do, we'll just do three. One with Arizona. One with Texas. So now, now we have three folders organized in the system. Click on done. When I come back up here, you'll see that they're organized up here. So let's say I have five projects in Michigan. I click on my Michigan. I click on new project. And then I can create an address. You can use commas in here if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, it's completely up to you how you name it. We typically want to name it exactly the same address as you would use in the actual search itself. So I would go ahead and say, okay. I'll create three more of those. And I'm gonna change this to Michigan because we're in the Michigan folder. And I'm gonna change this to different number and different street. And then I'll do another one here. Call this So another way you can uh, organize it is uh, by uh, month. So as you uh, 
have new projects month to month. You can uh, create your, your uh, master folders uh, uh, based off of month and then subfolders based off of uh, you know, your states and then go down to your addresses. And if you're organizing them by state like we did here, it might not be necessary to put the state in the actual name of the file. Uh, we do it that way just because it's easier to copy the entire address and paste it into uh, IPA at the end of the day. So <clears throat> once we have our folders and our files in here, and let's say, let's say we had 50 in here and we wanted to search for street one, we can come down here and we can type in street one, click on find and it'll go to street one. So you have a way to, to search through your files once you have them in here as well. Real quick, I'm going to go down all these buttons and kind of give you an idea of what they are and what they mean uh, so that you have an idea. And, you know, this video was, was strictly meant to understand this file management system and how to use it. So it's going to be fairly quick. This is very self-explanatory. When you want to do a new project, you click on new project, you give it a, a name. And, you know, like I said, it could be any one of these addresses. And then once you've created the file, you can open it just by clicking open. Also, once you name a file, you can move it to the file folder by just clicking move. Right. So you can also clone a file. So let's say, for example, this particular one that you've created had all the presets in it for your assumptions in IPA. If you like that, you can clone it and you can create a, a template file that, that maybe you use in the future and always start with that one. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So cloning will allow you to duplicate whatever's in here. You can rename it, obviously. You can rename it whatever you want. You can delete it if you don't like it or, or it was a mistake or it was an extra. You can export these files. Uh, let's say that you wanted to share your results with someone else. You can export them to a folder. Once the, the file is exported into a folder, you can bring it up through another version of IP on a different computer. You can import the same file that somebody else would export for you just by clicking on import and it will look for that same XLSE file. If for some reason you have this update button here bolded out, that means that there's an update waiting for you to launch on IPA. All you have to do is click that button and it will update automatically the, uh, the IPA code. So it's very simple. You don't have to go through any process. It, it does it automatically for you. Okay, the next button is the share button. And this share button will allow you to move the folder where all of your data is stored. So if you have a network and you have multiple people using IPA and you wanna use one folder for all of those people, you can click on share and it'll ask you if you wanted to move the default location, you click on yes and uh, yes again and then you pick the folder either on your network on your local network or on, on your computer if you're going to share it i would highly suggest you do it on, on a local network and then all your other uh, ipa installations within your network will have to point to the same folder for it to work correctly if you have any questions related to this uh, feel free to reach out to us we can help you through that and then again, if you wanted to manage your folders, create new folders, you go into folder management and you can do it here, however many folders you want. If you wanted to search, if you wanted to move a file, for instance, I wanted to move this, like Sean was talking about before, into a different folder, I can click on move in it and it'll bring up all the folders that I'm not in. So if I wanted to move that to Arizona, for example, or Texas, I just click on Texas it moved that to Texas and now that, that file's in Texas. If I wanted to search for anything in my list, let's say I wanted to look for one, two, three, four, uh, find. It'll start with in alphabetical order, it'll look for one, two, three, four, and, and keep clicking find until it's done. So for instance, if, if I was at the top of the menu here and I click find again, it'll go to the next one and, and the next one, and the next one. So if you wanted to look for Michigan or, or a state or, or a street name or whatever, or even a city, you can do that. If you get stuck in this file uh, manager for any reason, you can click on help and it kind of explains everything that I'm telling you right now. 
as far as how to use all of these buttons. Okay. Once you have everything named and organized, you can open the files simply by clicking open. We're not going to do that because we're just talking about this file manager right now. And then if you have purchased IPA, let's say you got the production version and you wanted to upgrade to the automation version, you can click this auto upgrade button and it'll go to directly to our website and give you a discount to upgrade to the automation version. Uh, if you already have the automation version, you when you click on that button, it'll it'll take you to the website, but it'll tell you you already have the, the automation version and there's no other upgrades to make. And then once you're finished, you simply quit and it'll close everything. So with that, I hope you guys are able to work through the file management system and uh, make it useful. Sean, did you want to add anything? And that, yeah, you, you covered everything. Uh, so if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, email, email us at uh, support at revivalbrothers.com. Okay, thank you.